let's at least play a bit of the Somnium Files. This game, this game, put the headset on. All right, okay. Yeah, I didn't expect to go a little over two and a half hours on um, Delta Room, but when, you know, when things happen, when things happen, they do the things. Load, load, load. Load, load, load. Annoying kid. Annoying lady. Car. On my back, for some reason. <laughs> There's a lot of things happening <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Turns out. Uh, let's Captain, see. Let's go over the facts of the case. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go over the facts of the case. Oh, I gotta turn this in my headset up a bit. Okay, Dante, let's go over the facts of the case. Let me see the log here. Oh, this was literally... Yeah, I think this is, was the point I... Let's go to the file. Actually, let's go to the flowchart real quick. Zoom in. So we did the things. Yeah, we did the things. This is ongoing. Oh, let's read some appendix entries. <laughs> um, here we go. Corneal turbidity. <laughs> Corneal turbidity. A state in which the cornea of the eye turns white and cloudy, a common indicator of death. Time of death can be estimated by a condition of the turbidity. Odin o o o Doin Koyama. Oda's pen name. Oh, okay. He came up with it by starting with a popular fictional character reference, then spelling out the name in hiragana, then changing letters to kanji, each character which containing a certain meaning. Good to know, I guess. Metropolitan Police Department Headquarters. A building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo, adjacent to the Metropolitan Government Building, used by the National Police Force, the MPD, and the Science Division of the MPD. Lower the mic just a bit more. Perfect. Uh, cortisol. A hormone secreted from the adrenal cortex triggered by stress. Increases heart rate, body temperature, blood pressure, and blood glucose and activates the body's defense mechanisms. This is another hormone my brain secretes constantly. Okay. <laughs> Sink. Sink. Wait, remember when Date said, I'm used to sinking? That was a pun. Date is a sinker at Abyss. Abyss. <laughs> it's been a while since we played, and now I'm just like, what's the fucking words? What are the terms in this game? Uh, which is why he made that comment. Okay. Aphonia. A medical condition in which a person cannot speak, usually from some kind of stress or trauma, similar to muteness. Not the same condition as aphasia, which is a loss of the ability to understand speech entirely. Oh. Jurisdiction, an area over which a police department has authority and responsibility. For example, if an incident occurred in Tokorozawa, that would be under the jurisdiction of the Tokorozawa Police Department. Makes sense. Underground. Iris said that she doesn't get many gigs. She is more popular in the underground music scene, which nowadays means the internet. A kind of stab wound, a puncture wound. <laughs> Great. Pupil dilation. The pupil of the eye will dilate upon death. Central hospital. Large hospital in the uh, Minato district. Oh, there's only a few more. All right, might as well finish this. Eye of Providence. A symbol from Christian theology depicted as an eye enclosed in a triangle. Providence, meaning of divinity and uh, guidance, and an eye that represents God's all-seeing eye that looks down on all of humanity. Originally, the Eye of Providence was not defined to be either the right or left eye specifically. However, most depictions of the Eye of Providence stay are drawn as the left eye. Okay. Puncturing instrument. Ice picks and trowels fall under this category. And Freemasons. Whoa! Whoa! I was not ready for that. 
a fraternity founded sometime between the late 16th century and the early 17th century. Publicly, they are an organization devoted to the improvement of moral character, but in reality, they... All right. <laughs> Great. All right, let's review the whatever the whatever case. The facts of the case. Good idea. Oh. Oh, I'm oh, I'm I'm doing a thing. Myself. Oh, look at myself. It's the passenger seat. It's empty. What's charging me? What's charging? My phone? Oh wait, I don't have a phone, right? That was a whole deal. Oh. Oh, it's the eyeball. Oh, I didn't even notice I was in there. Oh, that's creepy. I was fitted into the center of the wheel. Oh, that's what's charging. Oh, I just now realized, yeah, my eyes closed. Oh, buddy. Oh, this is weird. Uh, let me, there's me. It's unsettling to see yourself with the naked eye. Oh, because it, Iba's eye is looking directly at me. It all makes sense now. I understand everything. Well, I suppose it's not the naked eye. My left eye, Iba, is outside the socket walking around. But whatever Iba sees is sent to the optic nerve in my left eye socket. Her body and the terminal in the back of my eye socket are connected wirelessly. Let's, uh, let me introduce myself. Hi. My name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. What a fucking nerd this guy is. Perhaps he's had too much medication. Play a game. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. <laughs> this guy's such a dork. I Spy something round. My eyeball. <laughs> Correct. I win. I will terminate you. Focus, you got Don't this. Don't push yourself, Dante. No, I'm fine, Dante. You do not appear to be fine. Very strange. The glove do box. Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Dante? Yes. Not at all. How would I hide them there? The glove box. Okay. Oh shit! No, fuck. Iba. Okay. Um. Let's hear the timeline Iba. of events. Can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Whoa. I, I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Uh, I'll read this. Uh, Friday, yesterday, approximately 5 p.m. Shogo's time of death. Approximately whatever p.m. Mizuki receives Nile message. Unknown sender requests to come to Bloom Park. 8.10, Mizuki calls Ota, asks him to accompany her to Bloom Park. Approximately at 9, Mizuki and Ota discover Shoko's corpse. Ota leaves, Miz uh, Ota leaves Mizuki, flees crime scene. 9.05, Ota reports crime via payphone. 9.30, first responders arrive on scene, discover Shoko's corpse. 10.50, Date arrives at scene. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Hack, Iba. Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. About the bloodstains. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. Lovely. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Good point. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Um, about Shoko's corpse. 
The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Um, about Shoko's corpse. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Why was Mizuki inside the column? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. More about the corpse. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. Wait, according to whose count? According to Iris's testimony. Iris. Oh, the yeah. Okay. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Anything on your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again. And I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then sure. how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. Uh, telekinesis. Teleportation. I love the car transitions. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Mm. Suki. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Oh, buddy. I'm gonna go wham wham into the into her brain. I'm gonna strap me into that weird machine. Yeah. Oh, that that is that is not what I thought this machine was. How it worked. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. That's strange. Okay. Okay. Monitor on. Monitor on. Is there a monitor off? Yeah, there is. <laughs> There's nothing on the monitor. <laughs> binder. A binder full of papers. Looks like the manual for the sink machine. What a bizarre... Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. Pewter. About Iba. Hey, Pewter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality damn do something about it it wouldn't kill her to be more modest maybe a little more ladylike oh, shut up Dante if you dare reprogram me I will self-destruct in your eye socket yeah huh. so you were listening huh of course she was are you sure this is okay she's only 12 you sure this is okay <laughs> nope not at all <laughs> the machine is safe I can guarantee that you have nothing to worry about. Uh, how's Mizuki doing? Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed.
Did you get Renju's permission? Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. <laughs> so no. What? We're breaking the rules. I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. Wait. Something's fishy here. I uh, couldn't get in touch with him. His questioning ended in round noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Oh, boy. Are you sure you want to do this? If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, he may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. Your progress on the investigation? You're asking me that now? Well, I'm sorry. I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. <laughs> I know it was a silly question. I had to Mizuki try. Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Alright, well, what do I do? I'll try talking to her. She can't hear me from here. Well, get into the fucking machine. There's an enormous machine beyond the window. This machine is known as the sink machine. Okay, what do I... Where? How do I get into machine? Steel shelf? I opened it up. It's completely packed with books. Huh? They're all homoerotic BL manga and gay romance novels. Interesting, Peter. Interesting. What the hell? Why is that a thing? Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. <laughs> now where on earth did you learn that? What is that? What is this game? CRT Dante, monitor. Look, it's the girl from that horror movie coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? See, lines like this is why I feel like I need to click everything. <laughs> All right, how do I get into this thing? How, what, how, how? Door, locker, door, the exit. Door. <laughs> why Why couldn't this game be like the, in the Zero Escape series, you could, I think, or am I thinking of Danganronpa? I might be thinking of Danganronpa where you could click a button and then it would show everything that can be like flashed or like clicked on, you know? That's Pewter. His real name is Amanoma. He goes by Pewter here. 36 years old. He's a member of Abyss like me. He's a genius engineer that designed the sync system and other machines. He also invented Aiba. He's our caretaker in a way. Boss is watching Mizuki through the glass. Out. Let me in. Are you ready? We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sync room. I'm trying. Got it. Everything in my power. Got it. Just go. Put me, strap me in. Sync with the girl. Agent Date. Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. <laughs> he just goes, uh, don't worry, pat pat. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. Oh, I gotta talk to her? Um, about the sink gear. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Sink. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. <laughs> sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious. Floaters and sinkers. Which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. It's Latin for dream. Mm. There are six sinkers. Now I learned what somnia means. There are six sinkers. Oh, damn. There's many of me. I'm one of them. Do I get to meet the others? Um. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be inside your head. 
No, that will that'll calm her down. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. That'd freak me out if I was being honest. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. About Abyss. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. Oh, really? I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. Why was that not read? Why did he not say... We explore the human... It says there should be an audio bit to this, but you click it and it's not doing anything. We explore the human... That's really strange. That It's like they just forgot to record this line. That is our purpose. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries, or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. Or they just wanted to add that line into the game and then they didn't have that voice line recorded. You know what I mean? That's weird. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest. People lie, people don't say anything. Head injuries, deep mental wounds allow... So... How do we get clues from these people? We invade their mental palace. We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. Mizuki's lying on the chair. A sink machine. A sink machine. Sink gear. Sink. The sink gear. The sinker and subject both wear the gear over their eyes during the sink. It's like a fucking virtual reality set it acts as a kind of interface oh, can I look at them look at them I should say something why are you talking to me right now I'm sorry the boss is watching us through the glass okay he's lying on the chair yeah when this is all over hey Mizuki when this is all over... Ice cream. What should I say? When this is all over... Sushi, ramen, unagi... Some of that stew you like? Ew. What kid goes... Ooh, I really love that stew. Um... <laughs> let's go get some unagi. I remember you saying how you liked watching the eels get prepared for cooking. How they pin the head to the board and the shaft is wriggling around. What the fuck? Date. That time, I honestly didn't mean it to sound dirty. Oops, I should watch my mouth around Mizuki. Date, my heart rate is steadying. <laughs> EEG is stable. The hell was this game? Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. Great. I swear there's a Pokemon NPC that looks like this guy. A new feature? That I've seen. I feel like I've seen a, an NPC from a, one of the Pokemon games that looked just like him. You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure. Got it. <sighs> Going in, boys. Whoa. The chairs recline. Date. You ready? Okay. Ready anytime. Remember, Date. You have only six Do minutes the thing. in the Somnium world. Oh, only six minutes. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. Oh, boy. Is that going to be a gameplay mechanic? I have to go fast? We're counting on you. Gotta go fast. Well, then, let's begin. I mean, it wouldn't be said unless it was some something happened in the story, or it is a gameplay mechanic, or both. You know. Oh, here we go. I like this visual. Very trippy. Oh yeah, we're going in as her. Oh yeah, the yeah. I remember now. <sighs> She's so weird. I was so weird.
Alright, but we only have six minutes. Please, you pick up the pace. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Oh my god. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this Bloom Park? Is that a Metal Gear Rising or Resistance or fucking? Is that is is it is that the was that the reference? I never played those games, but I'm. Lightning in a bird cage. Lightning in a bird cage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. So we should be inside to the column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Makes sense. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Ah, oh, brilliant. Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed, so it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? Sure. It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Mmm. Let's get started. Convenient. Somnium scan activate. Whoa. What is happening? D d d. All right, mental lock number one. Sure. Mental lock number two. Yeah. Mental lock number three. So three locks to get. All right, sinking in the pain. Get it? Like dancing in the rain, I think is the joke. Heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you may be able to get important info. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm? That's so weird. An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Why is it moving? Also, look at those cube feet. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Iba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Things are moving. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. Time limit. There's a six minute time limit. Insomnia. Time is expended whenever Iba is moving or performing an action. Oh, we get creepy clown music. And pay attention to the remaining time left in the upper right of the screen. Unlock all mental locks within the 360 time, uh, second time limit. Oh, time does move while I'm sitting still, though. I can move the camera without... An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Um, push it. Oh my god. Oh, this is interesting. Wait, what is... Oh, so doing actions. Oh, so that, this is, this is interesting and weird. Why does it say one of two next to pull out? I'm gonna pull out. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. It cost 20 seconds, though, to do this. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Raising it. It keeps going. What is this? Something happened there. Oh, so this is like the puzzly action to this. So that's why you're probably... Okay. This is starting to make sense. That's why there's multiple, uh, like, things you can do to an item. And then it's like, that. this is the puzzle we're getting... We're seeing how the puzzles to this gameplay sections work because you're gonna s expend time to do actions. And you gotta do the right actions to break the mental locks. Like I'm assuming I'm rising, making these rise, so lightning gets drawn to those, or this thing, and not the cage. Mental lock one done. Easy. The pillar became a lightning rod. 
It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Remove birdcage. Date, we got a timey. What? A timey? Time induction matter in encephalon. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnium. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. I am... Okay. Timeies are items that affect time. You will sometimes obtain them when you perform an action. Items that affect time. You'll obtain them when you perform an action. Timeies only affect the time taken to perform an action. You're only able to hold three timeies. Picking up a timey when you already hold three will replace one. Timeies are expended after one use, but use them as often as you can. Oh, there's my timey. Okay, A, remove the birdcage. B, blow the birdcage away. So do I have two options? Okay, this is... Uh, what the fuck is happening? Also, isn't there going to be like a hidden object somewhere? Wasn't that a whole thing that the game told me about? Like, is it this? Is this the thing? What is this? This is the hidden object thing, right? Day two. Zuki B acquired. Yeah, that's the thing. That's like the hidden... Oh, you can retry it? There's a map? You can see your current location and objects you've investigated on your Somnia map. If you are lost and want to save time, try checking the map. Right. I can zoom? <gasps> I can zoom. Scroll. I see. Gate panda pieces. Control room. Gate bird. Big bird cage. Microphone. Microphone was a thing that I... I made rise up. Obviously, birdcage, gates, where it came in. Panda pieces is a thing. Control room is a thing. So I would imagine I gotta go interact with one of the things that are, like, highlighted here, you know? And that's where I am. There's eyeball. Look at me. Wait, can I really... Wow, you can really see, like, the top of the head there. Okay. Uh, Very strange. This game is, like... It's like that weird crossroads of a game where you're like, you're confused by a lot of things, but you're also like intrigued, but you're also don't know if like the things you're experiencing and you're seeing and seeing how it could potentially be evolved upon. You can't tell if it's going to be like actually interesting or just, just bizarre. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. I feel like I'm going to go to the panda pieces. The panda is in awful shape. Put back together or kick away. What does the timey do? Make time. The panda is in awful shape. What, he, what do you mean make time? And why can't I like put the timey away? Like once you press it once. Very strange. I'm gonna try. I'll use the timey, I guess, and put back together. Leave it to me. I am quite skilled at this. I might not have used the timey like I wanted to, actually. <laughs> or at least I thought I was. Your overconfidence is your weakness. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. Now, oh, God. The panda is in awful shape. Okay, so you have to press X, I see. So I can't put it back together now. Like, I've already chose that, and that's not a thing. Let me go look over... Oh, my God. I'm trapped. Microphone? This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Threaten? Shout? What does the 30 and the 40 there mean?
it's another timey. Okay, but... I guess we'll find out what it does, right? Listen up, miscreant. I know you're hiding in there. Throw down your weapon and come out with your hands up. The jig is up. Nothing happened. Your parents would be very disappointed in you. You can fix this. You have so much to live for. You can't give up hope now. You're having fun, aren't you? Oh, I didn't use the timey. I meant to use the timey thing there. God. I keep forgetting you have to press X on the timey. God. All right, let me go back to the... The panda is in awful shape. Okay, what does it do? Time to 30. Oh, it just literally sets it to 30. Well, that's not that great, actually. <laughs> that is a bad item. Because, I mean, things... If we're trying to not take a ton of time... Alright, let me try kicking it away and let's see what happens. <gasps> Did the merry-go-round move as well? Is there a connection there? Something happened. Oh, that's a nice camera. The panda is in awful shape. Okay, well, let's go to the control. Date, you've got four minutes. Four minutes. The control I know. room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. I can knock or I can open. Knock, open. Um. Go ahead. I'm gonna actually try to use the timey thing now. There we go. Now it should be only five seconds to knock. Hello, are you open? One adult and one child, please. Got her. I am not a child. Any open seats will do. I'm not gonna open. The back is fine. No response. There must not be anyone inside. So, is it safe to enter? Should be. I got another timey. The control room of the merry-go-round. Get in there. What is your plan once I am inside? I don't know. It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just do the thing. Just try. This. Expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. Right bird cage and a left bird cage. <laughs> What is that? What is on the ground there? A bird cage. What are those? There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Peek inside, lift, tackle. I am going to use. There's a question mark tiny. How strange. I'm going to lift. Tiny. Wait. Don't proceed. I forgot to do the thing. I always forget. I always forget. Thank you, game, for actually use. Now lift. All right. Leave it to me. <laughs> nice. It is heavier than it looks. Just lift that shit. Oh, I, I guess I went that way, route. <sighs> Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. Retry will allow you to return to a safe point just after unlocking a mental lock. But you only have three retries. Going back one lock costs one. 
Going back two costs two, and going back three locks will cost all three. You regain your three retries by selecting restart from menu or by failing the sink. This is likely your best option if time is low. Did I do bad? Is that what the game is trying to tell me? I didn't think I did bad. I guess I could have gone the other cage route, but like... There are torn pieces of paper. Piece together. Kick away. Roll up and toss. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Um, use. Piece together. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Sure you do. Oh, that face. The face of a puzzle solver. Done. But you were able to get out. So the photo was the key. I remember it clearly. One day, I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash can. When I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo, but whatever her reason, it seems like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo in Somnium, the birdcage... Mizuki must be having a hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? I do see. You can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. Alright, fine. We have to stop the spinning. Is it that panda whose head is spinning as well? Where is that panda whose head is spinning? Is it that panda eye? It's probably that, right? <laughs> I mean, it was very conveniently showed that to us as we... As it was spinning. Panda head is spinning. Get it to stop. Ride? Do I want to ride it? Spin more? <laughs> um, I'm going to use the third. Stop it. Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. I'm so smart. I see. These were also linked. That's right. Brilliant. Mizuki. Mizuki. <laughs> I called it. Let's go to her. Got it. 360 second, 360 second limit. Uh, if you choose, oh, get it 360 at six minutes, and that's the full eyeball is like one circle. 360 degrees um if you choose the correct answer as your final action you can actually exceed the 360 second time limit if you cho if you choose the correct answer as your final action what do you mean even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time left don't give up you might be able to do it pewter sleep talking mm, more than one second when you clear you get a prize no boss anything but that we have a prize with one more than one minute one minute would be 60 seconds. I still have a little two minutes game of time to you. you. Have three minutes, Date. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Merry-go-round. Don't look at the merry-go-round. So yeah, we have Mizuki. We have that a horse. A merry-go-round horse. Ride it. Spank. Talk. Don't want to spank it. That seems stupid, right? That seems silly. Yeah! That's not a spank at all. You punched it? Nothing is happening. Poor horse. That was absolutely absurd. It's Mizuki. 
Hugger, Slapper. S some of this writing is hard to read. Smile at her or make her laugh. Don't slap her, please. Um, I'm gonna go use the timey and hug her. Just give her a good hug. Mizuki. Why would you slap her? going to lead to the culprit. It's a it's a member of the blue man group. It's that blue hero from uh fucking Watchmen. So the answer was to hug her. And with more than a minute. More than two minutes, even. Oh, I'm so good. Why would you do anything but hug her? That was bizarre. <laughs> what a strange game. <laughs> I'm going to be saying this every time we play this, but God, what a... I, and I can't tell if it's strange in a good way or bad way. Meek AI, day two, Saturday. I guess I won. Speak to us now. You okay? You must. We hugged you. Date. Date! Her hair just like looks like she can talk there. again. <laughs> I did good work. <laughs> He's like, I it was all me. I mean, it sort of is. Um, after she had calmed down, I asked her a few questions. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, about Ota, and about Shoko. I know that after Ota ran off, something must have happened to make Mizuki want to hide. Oh. Mm, do you have any questions? Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. So you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hit in the column. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious. I mean, oh, a lot, a lot updated. Wait, 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 wait. These are the pictures. Look at that. <laughs> we got a, we got a photo of her fucking sitting on the pony ride thing. And then, uh. My concept art. That's better. Better than fucking this. Okay. I had to remind myself what the what we had gotten here. Okay, what is this then? Oh my god. <laughs> these are the things I unlock. I think I'm pretty sure these photos are the ones that I got for finding like the hidden item and then within or more than a minute left or whatever. The time limit thing. Since they're similar to like how these were like a goofy picture, like goofy pictures, like her hanging out in the Somnium place, and then like her as the the Iba like mascot looking goof picture, because then it's the same thing like here, where it's like goof picture. Look at that, it's a goof, and then a cool concept art piece. What does it say in the corner? Oh, I don't know. I can't see. 
Um, okay, let me talk to her. Um, who sent you the now message? I... I can't tell you. Yes, you can. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. It's getting aggressive. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. Oh yeah, that's a, it's an interesting point. Like, has, has that has the AI seen Date naked, or does he like before he goes to like go to the restroom or like shower or something? Does he like take off the eyeball and be like, all right, you're gonna chill here? By the way, in we already statement. looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. So why is it? I don't know. You heard the scene of crime because the whoever sent you is a prime suspect. That's bizarre. That she wouldn't just be like, oh, it was this person. This person sent me the message and potentially killed my mom. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other leads, but it's taking me some time. Mizuki, you're not helping. Uh, are you hungry? I'm fine now, but I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Of the eel. Unagi. Yeah. You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Yeah, I'm Dante, sure you dumbass. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Uh, about that figure I saw. Say, Mizuki. Who was that figure I saw? What? The blue man group, man. Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date. Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Uh, how are you doing? I told you I'm fine. Okay. So annoying. God. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. Oh boy. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. Alright, well, fuck me, I guess. Um, How does Iba appear in Somnium? Let's get some background info. <laughs> we'll get a run. Iba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Iba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Iba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why Somnium Iba is so dumb. Got her. Don't call me dumb. But I guess that is, is that the canon reason why, like, when Iba is in there, she's, like, goofy as hell? Because when we're out here, she's not very goofy. You know what I mean? Um, about the figure I saw. No! Oh. That. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki's somnium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Date? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, what happens if I click this again? Is this the same thing? Hey, Pewter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iva was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iva's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. Oh, boy. What part of that was my taste? I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Great. So... <laughs> Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Well, why would that make me happy? Um, about that figure I saw. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone in the corner past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Hmm. Mizuki's lying in the chair. She seems to be doing okay, but she's got that gloomy look in her eyes. I sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother. Well, saw what no kid should have ever seen. Have ever to see. She saw what no kid should ever have to see. Okay, it'll take a while for her to get back to normal. Okay. Um... Do you have any more questions? Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Boss shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Hmm. Hmm. About what I saw in Somnium. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. All right, well then never mind. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Shut up, Peter. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Um, thoughts on the suspect? How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Okay. She's lying in the chair. Who do you think the suspect is? Peter, who do you think you the You tell is? me what you think. Well, let's see. Perhaps it was you, Special Agent Dotty. Helpful. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Useless. About Mizuki's muteness. Muteness? Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. And giving her a hug. Well, you meaning you and Iva. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Protect. Is Dalte voiced by the Toonami guy? Different strings of characters' numbers. Can you scroll on the monitor? Well, what else do I do? About Somnium. In a normal dream, 
The person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Summarize for me. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? Only if I get a cool car transition. There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Yep, there it goes. All right, well, we'll, uh... Wait, this is not going to keep ping-pinging. I guess uh, we'll end there then for the night. We'll head to Bloom Park to see if we missed any details about the Blue Man Group member who killed Mizuki's mother, Shoka. Right? Is that her name? Oh. Is that the names here? Let me, let me find out. Oh, shit. It is branched. Look at this. Oh, boy. What is going on? This chapter has not been reached. Find another route in the previous song. So I could go back. Okay, so the other cage thing. Oh, that's so strange. We should... I mean, when should I do that then? You know? It's like... curious i i mean i i probably wouldn't want to go back and see what this is until i go in or go further down this line but curious what because this was the the breaking point was the cages so when i lifted the cage and pieced together the that photo that was this branch i'm curious what that other hmm very curious very fucking curious. Um, let me go. Yeah, Shoko. Did I say Shoka? Shoko and Mizuki. Okay. Oh, let's read about Pewter. Uh, name is Futa Amanoma. 36, birthday February 1st. Engineer at Abyss, the special investigation team of the Metropolitan uh, Police Department. Uh, likes multiples of 16. That's quite the interest uh chairs tokoroten amore dislikes bugs cats conservatives and cyclops cyclopes he hates conservatives oh, maybe i do like pewter <laughs> hobbies working with machines collecting dojins magical girls hey takes all kinds of people skills building models and imitating vuvuzelas uh overview Pewter is a business engineer and a brilliant scientist. Currently, is responsible for maintaining the sink machine and preparing sinks. He also invented Iba and set her personality to his liking. Oh, okay. Well. All right, let's go ahead and save. We'll call it a day. We've what? We're basically hit like almost six hours today stream. So successful Sunday. Um, I swear we'll, you know, in the future when we play this game, I'll try to you know do more chunks because I think both this. I think this is the third time I played this game. Both, uh, I think we're like under an hour, or just at an hour or so. So, uh, hopefully, we'll uh, I'll pick, be able to, you know, during this upcoming week, pick at least one day to spend multiple hours with this game at a time, and just the bits that I've been doing, kind of get some more, some better pacing. Uh, today is Sunday, a full week of work ahead for me. Um, but I should, in theory, hopefully, be able to stream, you know, the regular days this week, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then back Friday night um, as well. Uh, obviously, nothing on Thursday probably still. Uh, but don't be 100% surprised if I do pick a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday to also take off as well. Um, just for a day off to myself. But we'll, at least tentatively, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday should be streams. Um, I would say don't be shocked if I do stream all Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for it to be like one day naruto one day this game and one day um 
Deltarune, just to kind of get variety in here, you know? Uh, but yeah, today was a good stream. Uh, I'll see you, in theory, tomorrow. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. It's still early, so enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. Until tomorrow night.